The Psychor DevRel team makes a lot of videos and our review process for it is fine, but there's some painful points in it and we wanted to see, could we do better? So Thomas and I started looking at Psychor Content Hub. What we want to show today is how we use some of the features in CMP and DAM to improve our overall video review workflow. Let's take a look. All right, why don't we take a look at what we're doing today? Right now, we use Microsoft Planner. We use these cards to track all our work, all the descriptions, everything we need, all the files that are gonna to have to get published and reviewed. And then we use the commenting features to be able to tell each other how the review is going and whether or not we can push things out. It gets kind of annoying when we're doing video reviews and we have to like write in timestamps and then tell them what it is and then somebody has to respond back to that. So we want to do better. Next up, I want to go try creating stuff in CMP. This is where we are going to go and create items for work, things that we want to go and publish and put through workflow. I'm going to create a new content item and I'm going to create a video content item. Now you can configure all kinds of fields for yours. I really uh, suggest having lots of tagging and things like that up front so you can drive your search later a lot better. Uh, but we're going to quickly go through all these fields, fill it out so that my content item is defined. Now, once I have a content item defined, this is what's currently in workflow in my created box. I can work on this. I'm going to now want to start providing basic information and then adding the files that are going to be related to this workflow package. So I'm going to go and grab from my system the MP4 file of the video I want reviewed. So I've got this content hub video reviews file. I'm going to want Thomas to go take a look at this. So once I've uploaded it, this has now been uploaded into the dam as an asset and I can drill into this to get more information. I can go and transfer from the CMP side of things and go to the detail page over in the dam. Now I can see that I have, you know, the files that are attached to this asset. I've got some overview items. I can see a kind of a thumbnail of how it's going to show in the th system. And I've got places to upload like related assets and things like that. All right, now let's add a thumbnail to this. So up in the top bar of this dam asset, I have an option to be doing an upload of files. Now I can go up and upload a new file just to replace the MP4, or I can upload a thumbnail and this will be what's used throughout content top as a representation of it. But I also need this thumbnail to get reviewed because this is something I'm going to use on things like YouTube. So by doing this, I now have a new thumbnail. That's how it's going to be represented throughout and what everyone's going to see. I also like to add it in as a related asset just to make it easier for when people need to download it and need to be able to review it. We can kind of work with that. Not really necessary, something I like to do. Alrighty, so one other piece that we need to get on these videos is all that text descriptions that we use for various channels for YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn. We need to get that text reviewed too. So I'm going to go and add those in now on my asset. All right, so in the middle of our content hub instance, we have this kind of overview section with all the fields we can do on our asset, and we use the description field. Now, ideally, maybe it'd be a bunch of separate fields so we could integrate into different channels, but for right now, this is what we're using and it's working for us. So we drop in our things like our YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter descriptions in here, and someone can come in and take a look. Another thing we often do with our videos is a social media teaser. This has to be something short that can fit on any social media platform. Sometimes it's just a clip from the existing video. Sometimes it's a separate thing that's kind of its own teaser. In any case, it's a separate file, a separate MP4, and we also need it reviewed along with this MP4. So how do we go about doing that to tie it into the same workflow? Now, you could probably go about this multiple ways. But how we decided to do this was to go with using another video attached onto the existing CMP item. This way we'd have two MP4 files, both attached to the same asset, and they would go through the workflow at the same time. So if one wasn't ready to go, the other one wasn't ready to go. So there are different tools that are inside uh, Content Hub, like variants and things like that, that you could probably also use. Um, but this worked well for us to be able to lock the workflow together. Now this way, we've got another item. It's gonna go through into the dam as a separate asset, which we can get 
different review on and fix that one separately from the main video. So another thing that we often have to do is subtitles. And these often are saved as SRT files and you can upload them to things like LinkedIn and YouTube to be able to add some closed captioning. So this is how we go about doing that in Content Hub. In our particular Content Hub instance, there is this kind of video subtitle section and here's where you can upload your subtitles and this makes it really easy for the review team and also the team that has to publish to be able to get your captions tied into the video you're working on. Hi everyone, Thomas Desmond here. And today I'm going to be reviewing Jason's content. It's always good to have more than one eye look over content that we're gonna to release to the public. So today I'm gonna to take on the role of the reviewer and look over the video that Jason created. Here I am in the content details screen of Jason's video. And what I wanna do is add annotations to the video to mark places that need to be changed or should be considered to be changed to improve the video. We'll head over to the annotation screen by clicking the button in the top right corner. This takes us to the annotation screen where I can watch Jason's video and make annotations for spots that I think need to be changed or updated. So I've already watched the video and what I wanna do is add my annotations to the video to things that I think could be updated. Up in the top bar of this damn asset, I have an option to be doing an upload of so for this section, Jason mentions that there's something in the top bar that you need to notice or click on. And for me, there's a lot of things in that top bar. So I think that Jason should add an arrow or some sort of call out to mention exactly what he's referring to. So I'm gonna add a new annotation. This will be a, I can actually draw a box around what I think should be changed. And for here, I wanna say that we need to add a call out or some sort of arrow to indicate what exactly Jason is referring to. If we save that, now that annotation is on the right hand side for Jason to reply to in the future. There's also the flag on the bottom mentioning where that annotation is referring to in the timeline of the video. So let's take a look at one more spot that I think that Jason could consider making a change. You could probably go about this multiple ways, but how we decided. At this point, Jason's trying to upload a new file to his CMP content item. He wants to upload that teaser that he created, but his video of himself is covering up that add item button. So I want him to consider maybe moving his video over to the left-hand side so we can see what button he clicked in order for us to actually upload that file. Again, new annotation in the top right. I can draw a box over the area that I want him to refer to or that I'm referring to in the annotation. And here, I wanna say that he's covering up that button so he can consider moving his video to the other side. Perfect, my second annotation is there on the right-hand side, and you can see that I have those two flags down below in the video of where I marked those annotations in the timeline. So those are the two things that I think Jason should consider changing inside of his video. Let's look at some of the other items that he added to his video, such as the thumbnail, and even the description and title that he's put for his video. All right, so I'm back on this detail screen where I can see the thumbnail on the left, my overview in the center, and I can make my comments on the right-hand side. I've already read through the overview and I like all the text that Jason has there. One thing I did notice is that the title in the description doesn't match the title in our thumbnail. And also, we like to have pictures of everyone that's a part of the video as part of the thumbnail, so I'm gonna ask him to add my picture as well to that thumbnail. So we should change the title so it matches in the overview, as well as the picture in the thumbnail. Let's scroll through and see if we see anything else. One other thing I do see is that the video subtitles area is empty. We like to have subtitles for all of our videos, so I'm gonna request that Jason has those added in there as well. So let's add in that comment. Again, comments are in the top right here. So I can add in the comment for the thumbnail. Great, so this is the comment that we wanna leave for Jason. Perfect, our comments there on the right hand side. And this concludes the initial review. I looked over the video and gave him some comments there and made annotations in the video. And now I've added a comment based on the details on his thumbnail overview and subtitles that we've seen here on this detail page. It's now time to let Jason know that we're done with the initial review so he can go ahead and make those changes. Now that Thomas has let me know that there's some edits needed on the video, I've gone, made some changes and re-rendered a new version. Now 
I have to get that back out for review. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come into this damn asset that was the old one that had the reviews on it, and I'm going to add a new file. This new version is going to take over as the default version everywhere in the asset, but the old version is still going to be there. This will be helpful when Thomas needs to go and review. All right, we're ready for that review roll again. Jason has let me know that he's made some changes to his video based on the suggestions that I made. So let's check out the new video and the content that's been uploaded to make sure that the changes have been made and this video is ready to go out. So I'll head over into the dam. And the first thing that I want to do is review the video. And I want to review some of the annotations that I actually made in the previous video. If we scroll to the bottom, on the left hand side down here at the bottom, we have this file history and annotation section. You'll notice that the video here has this icon meaning annotations exist. This is the previous version that I annotated down here. If I wanted to view that, I need to view this version because the new uploaded version is the video with the changes and that new video with the changes doesn't have my annotations in it. So the first thing I wanna do is actually review my annotations. Here I am in that annotations page. This is the previous version of the video that Jason uploaded that I annotated and added suggestions to. You can see my two annotations on the right as well as a new one that Jason actually added in himself. So let's review what these annotations were. We've got the call-up that we recommended to show the upload button. We put in this annotation as well where Jason's video was covering up the add button. And it looks like Jason's added another annotation himself. He noticed a spot where there's a lot of pause time, so he took that out as well. So let's go over to the new version that Jason's uploaded and make sure that these changes have gone in there and see how they look and make sure everything looks pretty for the video. So I'll head back over to the dam. I'll go back so that I can go into the newest uploaded video. For some videos, you may want to watch the entire new uploaded version to make sure that there aren't any problems in the new video as well. But for this one, I'm going to skip around to the places where we annotated and just make sure that Jason made those changes and we can verify those. So I'm going to head over. Our first one was around 2.30, 2.40. Up in the top bar of this damn asset. Perfect. Jason added in that arrow to indicate that upload button in the top right. That was a little bit hard to see before, but now with the annotation and the arrow there, it's much easier to see. The next annotation Jason gave was about that long pauses section. Let's check that out and see if it looks improved to us. There's channels for YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn. We need to get that text reviewed too. So I'm going to go and add those in now on my asset. All right, so in the middle of our content hub instance, we have this kind of overview section with all the... I didn't notice any long pauses in here, so I'm gonna say that that section's good to go. And next up is our last annotation that I made. Let's check out that later annotation I made in the video now. now. You could probably go about this multiple ways, but how we decided to do... Perfect, so this is that section with the add button. Jason's video was covering it before, but it looks like he's moved his video a bit so that we can see the add button and the upload files button. So this is a good section here as well. I like what he's done with the video. He's made the changes that I've suggested. So the last thing to review is now in that view details section. So let's head over there and make sure that Jason has made the changes that I suggested on the content as well. Here I am in the details screen for our content. On the right hand side, you can see the comments that I made about the thumbnail images need to be changed and the title in that thumbnail. And also the subtitles need to be uploaded as well. Jason replied to that comment. So let's just make sure that those changes look good. We can see the thumbnail has both images in it, mine and Jason's, and the title has been updated to match the description. If we scroll down to the bottom, we see that the subtitles have been uploaded as well. So all of the content changes inside of the details page look good to me as well. I think this video is ready to go out. I'm going to let Jason know that I re-reviewed his changes and that everything looks good. Well, I hope that what Thomas and I showed you today was helpful. If you like this, make sure to you know follow and subscribe. But also, if you had questions, drop them in the comments. We're always willing to help. Have a good one.